What's going on guys, No guys here, welcome back to another FIFA 20 tutorial. Now this is a video I didn't really want to release, but since everyone's talking about it, I thought, you know what, I might as well release it now. How to tell if you're home or away in foot champs. They said they were going to patch this in FIFA 19, you could tell if you're home or away, and that's how people were cherry picking their opponents, getting easy opponents. Unfortunately, or evidently not, it's not been fixed, and it still exists for FIFA 20. So I'm going to explain to you and show you how to do it. Um, just very quickly, I just want to say the, the, the four main benefits of playing a home game. The first main benefit is to get a better connection. I wouldn't even say this is placebo anymore. I've done some testing myself throughout FIFA 19 and even FIFA 20 when I have tested it this weekend. I found that even during peak times when I'll be playing home games, more often than not, I'm getting less delay and a better connection. So I don't even think it's placebo anymore that I can actually vouch for. The second thing is pro players, they avoid each other and they cherry pick each other. Now if you look at the top 100 list, it's actually ridiculous. People have got 29 wins and I think the top 70 have 30 wins. Now this is absolutely absurd. If the matchmaking system worked properly, all these pro players wouldn't be able to wouldn't be able to get 30 and 0. The reason why is that they'll be matching against each other, someone's gonna lose. But what they're doing is they're cherry picking their opponents and they're deliberately playing home games to avoid each other. I'll get on to that in a second. So then that means, and that goes on to the, I suppose the third point, which is you technically get easier opponents. Um, I'll explain that more in detail as I go on. But uh, if you're going to avoid the pro players and the elite players that are doing this, you're basically going to get easier opponents. And the fourth thing, and I'll say one that's very important, is that you get to kick off first. I think this is the most important thing alongside with the connection. I think especially in FIFA 20, there is a really bad situation right now with ball hogging, holding the ball. And the worst thing you want is for you to kick off second or in the second half, should I say, your opponent kicks off first, he scores, I suppose you can say a lucky kickoff glitch or a kickoff goal. Then you find yourself chasing the ball when he's passing the ball around the back, you know, lobbing it from full back to full back, you know, one depth trench warfare, digging into the trenches. You know, we it's the worst to play that way. So that's why I prefer to start the game first and dictate the game from there. So let's get straight into it. So first, what you want to do is you want to go to Foot Champs. Click on Play Foot Champs. And by the way, yes, I did bottle this 22 and 0. Um, click on Foot Champs and then go into a game. Now, this pane that you see right now on your screen is the most important pane. This is where you decide where it's home and away. I want just for example here, I want you to split the screen up. To the right hand side is going to contain foot champions, the kits, advance. The left hand side is going to contain two players. The way you decide if it's home or away is that certain certain a certain pane will appear first, in particular the right hand side. So I want you to focus just purely on the right hand side. You see how the right hand side opened up? I don't know if you saw that. I'll do it one more time. We'll go into another game and, and you'll see if you can see it. Just focus on what animation loads up first. Basically, if the right-hand side loads up first, you know it's a home game. So, for example, here, the left-hand side opened up first. You can probably see it in slow motion. You see how you saw the two players first, and then you saw the right-hand side? That means you're on a away game. So, I'll just show you one, one last final time. As you can see, the left-hand side loaded up first, then the right-hand side. This means, it's, this means also it's an away game. So the idea is you want to keep searching for a game until the right hand side loads up first. See, as you can see, it's still an away game. And that's why you're probably wondering why people are backing out. Now this method is not so prominent now because people are talking about it. Uh, I kind of knew about it before. See the right hand side open up now? That means it's a home game, by the way. Um, maybe not so much now, but in January, people are going to know about this. So I thought I'd well just inform you now. Um, one thing I'll say to you, another tip that I would say is some pro players as well, when they search into a game, before this method, they used to wait 10 seconds deliberately in a lobby. So they used to go to this lobby and wait 10 seconds. So the best advice I can give you is someone doesn't ready up or presses advance within three seconds, just back out. Um, there is a kind of complicated system around how that works. But basically, if someone takes longer than three to four seconds, just please always back out is what I would say. Now I'll explain to you, the way the connection works, there's no hardcore scientific evidence around it, but that I can vouch for. Obviously you can cherry pick opponents, so now how do you get easier opponents? Well you see, you have to understand the theory behind it. Now theoretically and statistically speaking, just for a second, if you close your eyes and imagine every single play that's an elite 3 and above, so that's top 100 and all the elites, just imagine they all play home games for example. 
Now imagine you as a casual player, you go into a game. Now let's say for example, you match against someone, let's say anyone, right? There is a big chance that it is random who you get matched with. But if you only choose a home game, like for example this game, you're only going to get matched against people that are playing away games. So what I mean by that is, if for example you're a pro player and I'm a pro player, if you go into a home game and I go into a home game, but I'm actually, I load, my left hand side loads first, I'm going to back out. So the idea is they never play each other. That's how these pros, they never play each other. They're basically avoiding each other. Not now, but I guarantee you in December, January time, a lot of the elite players, even the gold one players will be doing this. And don't forget, only a fraction of foot champs users even, wa even watch YouTube, let alone my channel. So they don't even know about this. So that's how you basically get easy opponents. Now, just to clarify, easy opponents doesn't mean last year I made a video and people were like, oh, I'm still facing God squads. Of course. Easy opponents doesn't mean you're going to be facing bronze or silver teams. Absolutely not. This is obvious. What this means is maybe you might face a complete god squad for icons, but maybe that player is not an elite three player. Maybe that player is now a gold three player. So it doesn't affect the team. It just affects the standard of the play. And statistically speaking, as I said, if you imagine all the pro players are doing it, you're going to avoid all the pro players. And also you're going to avoid some of the elite players who are going to start doing it. And obviously a lot of the tryhards. This way you can, I suppose you can say, take advantage of the situation. Now obviously kickoff is very important as well. You can do this in Rivals, but to be honest, it's kind of pointless. Um, I don't really play Rivals just because I don't really enjoy it. But you can play and you can do it for Rivals, but for Rivals it makes no sense because you're going to get matched, for example, an opponent that's got a similar skill rating to you anyway. So it doesn't really matter too much. The only reason why you might consider doing a home game for a rival match is because if A, you want to, you can argue get a better connection. B, I suppose you can say if you want to get a kickoff first, so you know you don't want your opponent to you know start the game first, get a, maybe a lucky goal, or hold the ball. Or C, which I think is maybe a bit debatable, is the stadiums. Obviously, in foot champs, everyone has FEWC stadium by default. But in Rivals, you play home and away stadiums. Sometimes you might find, find some obnoxious stadium where, like, you know, there's a shadow c completely covering half the pitch. So that's why you might feel the need to obviously use um, to play a home game. And obviously, don't forget, like, this, this is getting into the next level detail, but certain pitches have different sides. For example, the Santiago Bernabeu is one of the widest stadiums in a game, for example. So that's why 442 works so well in that stadium. But that's just a complete different situation. Um... But that's kind of the situation. What I would say as well, finally, is that if you are lagging, um, let's say, for example, you play a home game, obviously try to look for a full bar connection. I would highly recommend that. You know, when you go for a home game, um, try to make sure the person readies up within three seconds. Obviously, try to find a home game as well and try to buy find a full bar connection is what I would recommend. One thing I would say is if you are finding the menus a bit laggy, just close the application. I do that sometimes. It does help with the delay. Um, obviously, you know, if you're playing at a peak time, there is a big chance you're going to get a delay. Um, I know I understand that. I understand not everyone get full latency, for example. But let's say, for example, you're in a different continent. Let's say you're in Africa, not in Europe, for example, right? If you get maximum three bars, then try to always get three bars. That's what I'm trying to say. But close your application. Um, restart the game. Sometimes I hard reset my PS4. And that's the basically the best way you can do to get it to get a better connection. Now I'm just going to show you the example. Now I'm going to go into a foot champs game. I'm going to show you uh, visually how to do it. Uh, so I'm just going to make sure I've got my fitness applied. Okay, perfect. So we're going to go into a game now. As you can see, the left hand side loaded up before the right hand side, so I know that is an away game. So I'm going to search again. So we're going to search again, and I'll show you. So as you can see, the right hand side opened up first. I got full bar connection and individual rated up in three seconds. So perfect. So although he's got, you know, I'm, I suppose you can say a pretty decent team, uh, which is it's probably a very much, a very much standard team nowadays. Uh, so now I've got his team. Um, and now if you see one kickoff, you're going to see that I'm going to be kicking off first. If I just, my opponent does skip through this. Unfortunately, so unfortunately decided to pause the game but if you can see my players are standing their kickoff that's my kit the white kit as you can see and that just explains and that just shows how and obviously now I'm kicking off first so now I'm avoiding him kicking off and him avoiding him using the kickoff glitch 
So as you can see, now I'm just going to kick off. Um, and that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any other further questions, please please do let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll try to I read I try to read all my comments. I try my best to respond to all of them. So do let me know. But I think all the information is in this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out, boys.